Hi there, and what I want to talk to you about today is adding clickable cards to a YouTube video. This is a little icon that can be um, clicked on at any point during the video that will unveil additional information that can interest your customers. So on your homepage, come up to your icon here and go to the Creator Studio. Uh, and you have to, this is a video that has been uploaded and you edit it after it has actually been uploaded. So if I go to the AdWords Keyword Planner here and have a little click, we've got various bits and pieces that we have available to us help here. And the one that we're interested in today is cards. So I'm just gonna give that a little click. And what this allows us to do is to add clickable elements that will be present throughout the video. Now I do have a video on end screen and annotations, actually end screens now because annotations are no longer available. Um, do have a look at that because they give clickable elements towards the end of the video, but this creates a clickable element permanently on the screen whilst the video is running. So what we've got here is this bar that says add card. If I give that a little bit of a click, we've got various different options. I'll come back to why this one is an issue in a little while. Um, but for instance, we can select a video, a playlist, a channel, or a poll. So you can actually encourage your customers to answer questions. You can pose questions to them and actually they can react to those questions physically by voting on something on the, on the website, or sorry, on the video. So a video or a playlist, I'll just add on that, means you can add a video, funnily enough, or a playlist. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the updated Twitter threads um, video and create that card. I'm just gonna add a couple of elements to it and then show you how it works. So now you'll notice up here, and I'll just zoom into the screen a little bit, make it a bit bigger, that's better, isn't it? Um, this little eye is the clickable element that will hold that information. We'll do more with that in a moment. And I'm also going to add a poll. A channel could be to another channel that you run on YouTube or a partner channel. Perhaps you are working with someone who has a similar or a reciprocal product. You can promote them as well if you want to. I'm going to go to poll and I'm going to ask a question. Uh, do you like social? Oops, typing skills is something I should leave you looking up. So I can't believe I train this on a daily basis, did you? Media. I'm not a typing trainer, I'm a social media trainer. Um, the poll choices could be yes, it could be no, or it could be as a means to an end. And then I can create that card. And now what I've got is two elements. I've got my Twitter threads tutorial and I've got the poll that I've put in there. And if we have a little look down here, we have Let's move that, that's, uh, oop, get that to beginning. These are the card elements. Remove that, that's a bit of a pain when it does it, but never mind. That one is the Twitter threads tutorial. That one is the poll. Do you like social media? I'll come to the relevance of those in a second. But right now, if I click on that little button at the top, it drops a card down with my poll that I can vote on, and also a link to the next video, the Twitter threads tutorial. Now, that little eye will just remain a little eye until the timer hits one of these buffers. So if I move this a little bit further in, just a couple of seconds before that, keep an eye on the eye at the top here, and I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna mute it, you don't need to hear me talking again. Uh, if I hit play, you'll see that go, and as that blue line gets to there, what you'll get is suggested update, Twitter threads tutorial, prompting people to have a click and have a look at it. And similarly, when it gets to here, have a little look, then the poll. Do you like social media? You can click on the poll and then the poll opens up. And these elements can pop up at any time you like. Uh, you can use five cards. They've boosted that up by one, actually. You can have five cards and they can each open up at different times. So, for instance, I might say at five minutes. Um, if you want some more information about how to use Twitter, um, just check in the top right hand corner at the moment, a little box is gonna pop up and there is a tutorial that you can click on to learn more about Twitter threads. And you know, if we get this at the right place, I'm saying that at six minutes or five minutes in, we pop the little slider at five minutes and as if by magic, as I'm saying, 
click on the link to go to some the, the tutorial on Twitter threads. The little eye here expands and we see at the top Twitter threads. So that's quite a nice magic-y way of doing it. It doesn't have to be on queue or like that, but it's a good way of doing it. And similarly, once you've talked about the poll and you've given people options, you can say, all right, I've said what I, I've told you what I think. This is your time to vote. Any second now. Here we go. Up pops. Vote on this now. And it will pop up and you can direct people to it. Again, it's not necessary to direct people as as in a, such a focused or, or specific way as that, but it means that you can have these cards, that little clickable element throughout the whole of the video, um, and you can have the individual elements pop up at specific times in the video to let people know or instruct people that there's more information that they can click on. Very simple to do, very effective, and it does help make your videos a little bit more interactive, make people actually take more notice of them, take action on them. Now, when it comes to both end screens and cards, a link to a website is something that is going to be impossible for you to do unless you have a very serious channel. Unfortunately, YouTube have made the decision that you can only have a link to your website on either a card or an end screen if you are a YouTube partner. And now, the rules of becoming a YouTube partner means you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. That means in the last 12 months, your um, channel has to be watched for 4,000 hours and have 1,000 subscribers. Only at that point can you become a YouTube partner, which is, enables you to monetize YouTube videos. But you know, most picking cases, businesses don't need to monetize mm. YouTube videos. They're making their money elsewhere. Um, but only at that point, strangely and irritatingly as far as I'm concerned, because that does inhibit small businesses' ability to use YouTube as a platform to talk about their business. Very few people are ever going to get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Um, you can't add that in. If you're lucky enough ever get to get your channel to the part point where it has 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, then become a YouTube partner and you can put links to the website um, on uh, on the uh, the video itself to drive people to your product. It's a shame that that is enabled, um, but it's just one of those things. Hopefully, YouTube will see the error of its ways, but quite recently, YouTube has been making life quite difficult for people who want to make any kind of money or impact on YouTube. Um, but I think there is a movement within the people who actually pay their bills, i.e. the people who co create content that makes them money, uh, to engage with them and try to make some changes. But for now, the only things you can add to a card are a video or a playlist, someone else's channel, or a poll to ask people questions. The link to your website will only be allowable once you've hit YouTube partner status, which is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a 12-month period. Anyway, that is how to add a nice clickable element to your video. If you've liked the video, please give it a like. If you think someone else will like it, give it a share. Have a fantastic week, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.